uh, Wendy Brooks, Vice President of Supply Chain Solutions Product Development. I'm responsible for the research and development organization. Um, we do new product development that could be enhancements of existing products, development of brand new technology that are used in supply chain solutions and warehouse management. Uh, I've been in research and development as an R&D leader for the past 12 years. Prior to that, I've spent 17 years in supply chain technical operations. And uh, right out of high school, I joined the Air Force. So I've spent about six years between active duty in the reserves. Did that while I was going through college. I think by nature, I'm a problem solver. I love process. When I work with the team, I'm looking to see what the challenges are, what's preventing us from being able to hit our targets or release those new products on time. And, and over the years, I've learned that usually comes down to people, process, or tools. And maybe that takes me back into my core competency and where I feel comfortable from my many years on the technical operations side of it. But I, I love that challenge. The piece that I've been able to do is pick up running. It helps with the stress level and whatnot, but also to stay healthy and, and fit. So I enjoy running. My husband and I, we bike, we, we snow ski. I enjoy spending time with my kids. But other than that, I just try to relax and, and take some downtime and recharge over the weekends. You know, and some of it's subtle. And I think the pieces that bothered me the most were when I was being passed over for promotion and there was always something on the behavioral side that they they choose to use to label us with. It's hurtful in our career because it won't look like discrimination, but that's the area where they were really suppressing my career until I realized I'm not aggressive. I am assertive and I should be able to come to the table and make statements just as my male counterpart not always, always accepted the same way, so. Don't be intimidated by the college career path that you have to go through to get your degree. You can do it, and absolutely, when you get into your first workplace, join the Women's Network, work on your, your network, get some good mentors, but what they choose to be shouldn't be a decision based on whether you're a, a man or a woman or whatever race or gender you are. We all should have the equal opportunity.